This reading is for Taurus. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Venus. It's for adults only. It's for entertainment only. Let's see what Leo season is bringing for the Taurus. I'm going to do three spreads in this reading, three on top of each other just to get clarifiers for the initial ten cards. This is a love reading, so the first five cards will represent you, the second five cards will represent a secret crush that you have on someone or that someone is coming forth with you, someone you have in mind maybe, or someone you're currently with. Keep your mind open. Mmm, Page of Wands. And this will be the love. So this Page of Wands. New idea, a new passion. It could represent somebody who is Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. Perhaps they are younger than you, and you've recently met them, or you've gone on a few dates, had a few um, text messages, just wondering where it's going. It's, it's immature energy, right? It um, can also represent, though, getting published somehow or being successful with um, an art venture. Maybe you've recently met an artist. These two cards represent you. This is the challenge. This is the bridge to the future and the most probable outcome. That is for your love right here. Oh, Taurus, the King of Cups, diplomatic lover. Cuddler, compassionate, genius, affectionate, calm, could be Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. Are you torn between two lovers here? A young fire and an older water? Ooh. <laughs> the challenge here is the star card reversed. When that card is reversed, it's you disconnected from the synchronicity of the universe, a bit bewildered, detached, detached from seeing the signs that the universe is trying to give you for, you know, sometimes when you ask for a sign, it has no, it's empty. It, the, your brain is just bringing it to you because your brain asked you to bring you a sign, but it has no sustenance to it. A sign has to come unbidden. It has to come from somewhere that you did not ask it to come. You know what I mean? Like, you can't just request that it come because it might be um, an inaccurate sign. Now look at all the blue here, emotion. The blue is the heart chakra, right? Your heart is opening. We've got the lion reversed here, strength reversed. When it comes in reverse, it's that I feel like this is representing the last of the Leo season, like the last week of the Leo season. I feel like that's exactly what this means. Some kind of backwards triumph, the last week of Leo season. Most probable outcome is the Six of Pentacles, which is somebody showing up. They will come to help you. Somebody shows up. And, you know, maybe Torians haven't had that in a while. Like, sure, they're showing up, but are they showing up? <laughs> That's where this is headed. Mm. Just unexpected charity. These cards represent the love that you're thinking of. Oh, it's somebody spicy. <laughs> they are spicy. They have seen some shit. 
The universe creates encounters when the high priestess is on the move here. So like I just said, you cannot call upon a sign right now in your life. You have to allow the universe to create this encounter, to unveil a mystery, to show you a surprise, a truth. This Page of Cups energy. Page of Cups is sometimes... Mm, it, it, it flatlines. It's love that flatlines. Maybe this younger fire sign is the big love and the older water sign isn't. My God, look at all the big energy here. <laughs> look at all your big energy. Oh my goodness. Just a little breather from the cards for a moment. Uh, remember to let the sun shine in on you on readings like this. Don't look at it. Uh, from what you're missing, look at it as something that you can create. And let's go back and finish the read. So this King of Swords represents an air sign. Maybe it is straight up just a Libra, a Gemini, or an Aquarius. Regardless of that, it does represent somebody who's analytical, intelligent, truthful. They sometimes wear a uniform to work. Um, they need proof. This is the challenge card though. This incoming love for you needs to have all the, log the logistics ready in order to date you or to continue on with you. The Six of Cups is a happy reunion from someone a long time ago, a happy reunion. Now, it comes up as the door to the, the bridge to the future, right? So maybe these two aren't going to matter because somebody from a long time ago swoops in because the universe offered this, you know, karmic connection secret gets revealed. Hey, I've had a crush on you for so long. I know we've known each other forever. But the universe creates this encounter and a spiritual experience for you and somebody else. And it drives this somebody else nuts. It's driving them nuts. <laughs> Yay! I like when we drive people nuts. That's when action happens. noticing like some are seated some are standing like there's so much chaotic energy and that happens when the star card is reversed so just allow the universe to provide right now Let's get some more details here. Oh, the Mars card. Now, these two look alike, don't they? Maybe there's twins involved here. The Mars card, though, it can be, um, you know, the end of an affair sometimes. Maybe you need to watch a Mars um, video from your birth chart, right? The Mars card is the ending of something that required you to have courage and strength to be complete. Ah, oh, look at this. Now, the universe always brings a trickster at the same time as a soulmate. Initially, we're thinking that the older water sign isn't the answer. This spread, though, is showing <laughs> they are. <laughs> You're going to have to really look this one through. Wow. Yeah, this could be the one. Staying optimistic. Remember that last week in August, big changes. Healing family issues. Maybe the two of you, this new love, you are having problems combining um, family, making a blended family. Um, you know, the healing issues, 
Just remember, in spiritual terms, healing can occur in an instant. Don't let it bog you down. New love, like we suggested, this high priestess is bringing in an encounter that kind of changes the flow of what's going on here. Love yourself first. Mirror it up with this page of cups because there is a disappointment that happens. Is that a little fish coming out of the cup saying, fuck this? <laughs> also, though, this high priestess, she, this, they look alike, don't they? Again, that twin energy. Mm, I love that. The separation from these two brings in that king of swords. Whoa, look at the passion here. Okay, so now look at the growth. Two little ones sharing a moment, two older ones sharing a moment. There's maturity that happens, growth. Lovely. Let go of control issues. That's what this is. Allowing it to unfold naturally and not commanding the universe to do anything because it's not your business to command, right? It's your business to receive. So let's use this deck as well. This is photographs that my dad has done over the years and I've changed them into art cards with a meaning. Gorilla, leadership, selflessness, very Torian energy. Peacock, rejuvenation and dreaming big. Two strong masculine energies here um, with, of course, of course it is, right? Black Cormant. Good luck charm, visiting home, the evening before a big event. Now remember, visiting home can sometimes mean the family issues are surging up a bit. Okay. Pair of ostriches, the alpha female, the boss babe, drama truth teller. Again, very Taurian empress energy, that feminine development that's patient and deserving. The falcon, the prairie falcon, is a fierce personality, awakening, and quick thinker. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Now let's use these cards. We're going to add some spice. All right, these cards contain nudity. If you're not a fan, we'll see you again sometime. The Knight of Swords. Sorry, this is the Queen. <sighs> queen of Swords. Ah, the Queen of Swords is always one step ahead. This, that's what this is. This is you. Being one step ahead of love here and ah, oh, yeah, having an aha moment. Sometimes the Queen of Swords doesn't want an emotional commitment. They just want to be one step ahead of you. This could be representative of these two energies that you're dilly-dallying with until this big love shows up, remember? Seven of Swords. Again, another conversation. These swords energy are conversations, right? 
The Seven of Swords, though, is a crappy conversation. Like, where the hell is everybody frustration? It's that kind of frustration. It's almost, um, it's time to go energy. It's betrayal. It's coming up under this King of Cups, too, right? Which was that soulmate energy. Maybe you're just going to have a soulmate, one of your 88 soulmates in your life for a short period right away here. The world. This is a challenger card for the incoming love, right? This is sometimes like a very somebody who's really loud in bed, like they holler when they orgasm. <laughs> It's also the end of a cycle, though, the world, that's for sure. Can represent being naked as hell in front of somebody and moving towards the future, having that vulnerability. Again, it's a challenger card, though, right? Yeah, the separation, time apart. Moving forward means separation, I guess. The Eight of Pentacles. Slow and steady. Well-deserved tranquility. Virgo energy. The Page of Pentacles. Gift giver, devoted, dependable, faithful. They use the law of attraction usually. It's a devoted, loyal spouse. So your your most probable outcome is a devoted, loyal spouse, most likely with an air sign. Oh, this has been great. I love it. Let's get one more card here. I want a ritual. Give us a ritual. Queen of Heaven, blessings from the Divine Empress of the Skies. Again, the air energy. So expect to be involved with some kind of Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. And I hope I see you again.